What's up children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, and I will be Hola Scorpios, what's going on? All right, so let's get this month started. It is August and it is a universal 11th month. The universal 11 is all about your wishes and dreams and your hopes. 11 also is about your associations, your groups, your friends, and who you hang out with. Think of it as uh, two ones together coming together, all right? So if you're going to manifest something, if you're gonna make your dreams come true, you're gonna need other people to do it. So I want you to be kind of thinking along those terms. You can get what you want, but you're not gonna do it by yourself, all right? So let's keep in that mind frame about creating your reality, okay? Now, we start out the month, August 1st, with the new moon in Leo. So this is a great time to start off your intentions, light a candle, and put it out there. This is happening in your 10th house. So if you've really been trying to focus on a new career, uh, this is the time to do it, okay? Um, August of the 11th, Jupiter is going direct in Sagittarius, which is in your second house. If you've been having some problems trying to make money, um, Jupiter going direct in your second house is going to open a lot of opportunities for you to make some new money, okay? Because second house is about the house of income. It's also the house of what you value. So some people value money, but it could be anything that you value. It could be uh, assets, uh, family, anything like that. Most of the time it deals with money, okay? But whatever you value the most, you're going to start having new opportunities with that. On August the 12th, Uranus is going retrograde in your seventh house. Uranus has been in your seventh house and Uranus is going to be there for a while. Uranus is trying to make you think outside of the box of what type of relationship do you want to be in. If you are ready or in a relationship, Uranus is shaking up that relationship and trying to spice it up or get it out the way. But if you are a single Scorpio, Uranus is trying to help you meet different types of people that you probably weren't used to meeting before and help you redefine what you think about in relationships. Well, right now Uranus is going retrograde and it's going to be retrograde for the entire year. So back to the same old, same old for the rest of the year. Gives you a break so, so you can go into cuddle buddy mode. But it's gonna go direct again in next year. So don't get too comfortable because Uranus likes to give you surprises. So, uh, Right now you have a break. So the dating may get a little bit easier and not so sporadic or surprising and crazy people that you didn't know calling you all of a sudden. Uh, but get ready for it because on August the 15th you have a full moon in your fourth house. Full moon in the fourth house rules your family and your foundation, okay? So um, there may be some issues with your home that may come that may uh, come up to your attention during the full moon or you may have some family issues that may have to be dealt with during the full moon. So keep that in mind. Uh, then we have all this energy in your 11th house. OK, uh, I think for you guys, Scorpio, because there's so much going on in your 11th house, you really need to focus on your friends and your associations as well as what do you really want? OK. What is your hopes and your dreams? What do you really want for yourself for this year? You got Mars moving into your 11th house. So you may, I want you to watch out for having arguments with friends or having any mis disagreements with your friends. You have a lot of energy in that area, okay? Uh, the sun is gonna move into your 11th house. So you're gonna be really focused on your friends. Maybe you wanna go out with your friends. You wanna talk to them. You wanna socialize. You wanna get on social media and talk to them. Do it. Uh, then Mercury is moving into your 11th house. With Mars and Mercury there, there could be a big chance that you could have a disagreement with one of your friends. But also, it's gonna open up communication. You're gonna, you're gonna have your friends just chatty catty with you all the time, and you're gonna wanna catch up with a lot of people, so that's really good. Mercury also brings money too, so you may have an, an opportunity to make some money with some friends. Mercury's quick money though, so don't worry about that. New moon in the 11th house means you might be meeting some new friends though. You may have an opportunity to meet some new people at the end of the month, so get ready for that. Let's go to the tarot and see what secrets the tarot can tell us about what's going on for Scorpios. All right, Scorpios. Let's go to the animal oracles and see what the animal oracles have to say for Scorpio for the month of August. 2019. Scorpios, month of August. Let me light my incense. Shouldn't do that. Let's 
Scorpio. Scorpio, you got the snake spirit. It is time to heal. Okay. What are you healing from, Scorpio? This is the focus for uh, the month of August. You got, uh, let's see, we got energy in the 10th house, 2nd house, 7th house, 4th house, and 11th house. Maybe you've been having some friend disagreements. Let's go to the tarot. Let's see. Snake spirit is about time to heal. It's about, uh, it's about taking off an old skin and building a new. This might mean where you get that new friend. I don't know. I'm just saying. Let me look at the tarot real quick. What it, Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpio for the month of August 2019? Scorpio for the month of August. Spirit. Scorpio for the month of August 2019. Hermit. Eight of Cups. Seven Pentacles. Temperance card. All right, let me get some clarity on that. I got my new cards. These are the um, Chakra Oracle cards. They're really great for clarity. Give me some clarity on why is the Hermit reversed here? Ooh. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse here. Hmm. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Hmm. Okay. I definitely see that you're having some issues with maybe an associate friend of yours. Um, this is what I'm seeing. Now give me a second, let me get my tea. Because you have so much energy in your 11th house and in your house of relationships and also your uh, house of family. In this card, you got the temperance card. And the temperance card, it means that there's some patience and some balance that needs to happen. Uh, there might've been too much giving and taking or whatever, but you have some kind of disagreement. And right now, you're trying to balance yourself out, okay? The first card, what happened is that I see somebody has uh, moved away or somebody is isolated themselves and they're isolated themselves with their job, okay? You got the workaholic card. Now, this is not very good. This is somebody who is immersing themselves for a good cause. You have one who's a prune and one who's a grape. A grape and a raisin, I'm sorry. Uh, one who started out as a grape, now he's a raisin. And he's worked so long, but he's not showing anything about he, anything of what he's doing. Because he's isolated. The uh, Hermit Reverse shows me that. Uh, this is also ruled by Virgo, so it could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Um, it means that somebody who's isolated themselves, who's trying to overdo everything, uh, and trying to do something alone. Remember I told you this is the uh, universal 11th month and this is not a time to be alone. This is not a time to try to make something happen by yourself. Scorpio, this could be you or the other person. You guys may have had a disagreement and that's what I'm seeing kind of with this. Maybe when Mercury went retrograde, maybe you fell out with somebody and this is gonna be the time to talk back with this person. This person is definitely coming back into your life but there's somebody who's been hurt. They've been hurt and they're going through something. This is could be something with the green card. This is the green chakra, which is the uh, heart chakra. This could be somebody who uh, really loves you. They really care about you, but they're going through something. They're kind of like, or it could be you. You could be hurt, but and you could be walking back to a situation. But this person is coming back. If it's you or the other person, this um, this situation is coming back together. But this person is still hurt, and there's going to be taking some balance. There's going to be some healing process. Um, whatever happens, I kind of feel like somebody is is not seeing the fruit. Or no matter what you do in the situation, somebody may not be receptive to the energy. Um, maybe you've been waiting for something to happen, and you haven't seen any product of it. Uh, with this um, pentacles. With the Seven of Pentacles, it just kind of feels like, with me, it's like, 
either that person is waiting on you or you've been waiting for something that you don't see anything and this is kind of giving me this feeling of you know what? i'm just kind of tired of it uh this the the nature spirit is telling you that there's more to life you know it's trying to show you the beauty of of growth of having this new rebirth but you have to be open to it scorpio you have to be open to the beauty of this new relationship i kind of feel kind of sad right now so i wanted to kind of even get a little bit more clarity on this i'm gonna put this card here can you give me some clarity on this seven of pentacles please Yeah, I see that there's a lot of arguments. This uh, this relationship may um, there might be just like a lot of battling between you two, and uh, it's going to come to an end. Okay, um, you gotta you guys gotta stop the fighting, the bickering between you two, and one of y'all is gonna have to be the bigger person. Scorpio, you may have to be the bigger person and just offer this cup of love for this person, you know, and just say, you know what, I still love you no matter what, and they may or may not receive it. But it's your choice as well as whether you are going to, what are you going to do? All right? Because every relationship we have is a reflection on ourselves. And so you need to take the time to heal from whatever's happened. If that person receives it or not, that's up to them. But you need to be responsible for your heart, your feelings, and what you've gone through with this person. But this, uh, whatever's going on, it's not over yet. And you guys are going to have to come back together and talk about some things. I definitely see that they just got higher. You're going to have to go into your higher, higher uh, chakras because this is about the uh, third eye. It's about going into your spirit, you know, and just kind of saying, you know what? I'm really tired of this bickering and going back and forth and and not getting along. So whatever happens you guys are going to come back together, but you guys have to really figure out how y'all going to do this relationship. And it's really about just, you know, balance and love. Okay. Uh, if this resonates with you, Scorpio, definitely uh, let me know what's going on. Send me a comment uh, and like, like this video and share it with your friends and make something happen in your reality. You are in control of what happens. Make something happen that you want, because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later. Peace out.